Hello guys, Prash Super here. I'm actually outside of a lovely restaurant from what I've heard is lovely, so we're gonna give it a try. But when I say we are gonna give it a try, who is we? It's Prash Super along with... Super Mum. Here we go. So we're gonna give this a try. We're gonna let you know what we think. I know I've got drone videos coming out tonight in the channel, but I thought, why are we gonna give you a drone video? We might as well just give you a restaurant review as well. Let's kill two birds in one stone. Two videos, one night, let's go. Right, so the name of this restaurant is called uh, Three Horse Suit, uh, Three Horse Shoes, or something like that. It's actually part of the same chain as um, the Hungry. Is it Hungry Elephant? Is that what you call yeah. it? So the Hungry Elephant pub um, that's in Wyking in Coventry. Is it Wyking or Wardsgrave? What what do you class it as? Wyking. Okay, so it's in Wyking. However, this place here, it's the same business, but just obviously a different restaurant it's the same business by the way so how that works is they've got one restaurant here and one in Wyking. we come to this one called three horseshoes again i think same same menu same prices from what i've been told we hope we're going to keep this video under 10 minutes if we can uh you've got the front you've got the uh parking but well, no parking at the front unfortunately but uh you've got a little seating area here which is nice nice for the warm days not right now right ladies first oh it's nice and quiet it's okay for mum Ladies first. Looks nice here. Come in, you can actually smell that. It smells amazing. Right, we're going to sit here. I think we'll sit. Oh, table reserved. Right, and table reserved as well. Okay. Uh, that table reserved. Three tables reserved. We'll sit in the corner, Mum. We'll sit in the corner. Alright, guys, we'll take a seat around here. Okay guys, so we've got the menu here. We're gonna have a quick look and I'll show you guys what the menu looks like as well so you guys know uh, the ins and outs prices. Is it worth it, is it not? You guys comment below, let me know. Is it affordable? Is it within your price range or not? I don't really know what your price range is. So it's always curious. I'm always curious to find out what people think uh, with their price range. Some people go for a certain price range, but with today's world the way it is with all the price increases, is this worth it or not? Let's have a look. the shaky camera there but um, so, um i'm going to give the lamb cheese kebabs a try first of all six pounds for the starter portion is it really worth it i mean six pound normally i'm expecting if i normally pay anywhere between 350 to 450 for a starter of a lamb cheese kebab but we'll see is it actually worth it is it a thick kebab is it thin is it just one kebab we don't know so we're going to give it a try um i'm going to go for a lamb lamb curry 950 uh, 990 it's not bad i want to find out how much extra to add prawns because i tend to eat uh, a lot of prawns so i thought it'd be a nice idea to see if i can do a lamb curry with the prawns but we're gonna keep it basic because obviously we're trying to save a bit of money this week and um because me and mom super are going away uh, for the new year so i'm trying to save some money so let's let's order let me just get a drink i'll be right back Okay guys, so it's come to um, £30 in total, so not bad, we'll see what it's like and uh, let you guys know. But bearing in mind, um, some restaurants give you pop as a complimentary, uh, some don't, so we paid £1.80 for the pop here. here. Um, lamb cheese kebab, £6, uh, personally, uh, it's just my own opinion. Um, I'm not going to name any of the restaurant, but I've seen some restaurants do it for like four pound four fifty four fifty something like that the most i've seen is five pound for a starter kebab but not six pound nine uh six pound it's a little bit on the steeper side but we'll see what they're like and i have requested them to be hot so uh, if they are made fresh they can be made hot 
they can be made how you want depending on you know how it's made some people have the kebabs ready made and some people don't uh, they have confirmed that they are made fresh so uh, we'll let you know what we think Okay, so I've got half a pint of Cobra and uh, see what it tastes like. It's not bad. Could do with a little bit more gas maybe, but besides that taste wise, it's okay. 250 for half a pint, I don't know, but you, you tell me guys, 250 for half a pint, do you think that's worth it or not? Comment below, let me know. Okay guys, so we just got some poppadums, uh, two poppadums, a little bit of the chutney as well. They actually gave chutney, they didn't charge extra, so that's actually really good. Some restaurants actually charge you for that, so... Um, I'm just going to put some on mum's plate first. Mom's got her top of dog. I've got mine. Let's try the, uh, the mint sauce first. I think that's a mango chutney. I don't do mango, so let's give the mint chutney a try. I suppose there's no onions. They normally have a nice onion chutney in place, don't they? But, oh well, let's give it a try. Mint chutney is okay, not enough mint, it needs to have a bit more of a minty kick. Um, the colour is beautiful, very nice colour. They use a good quality yoghurt, but I can't sense much mint in there. Let's try this red chutney and see what that is. Oh, the lamb kebabs, good timing. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so what you can notice is they've actually got powder on top of the kebabs. Now, if kebabs are ordered to be spicy uh, and they're fresh, then you can put green chilies or a bit of naga inside the actual kebab itself. But from what I know, so you can see a bit of powder on top. So I think what they've done is just put a bit of powder on top. But We'll see what it tastes like. Let's give it a try. Try it first. See, that to me just tastes like tomato ketchup with a little bit of kick. Not much flavour, but yeah, mum, try that red sauce. Tell me what you think. Yeah. <laughs> The thickness of the kebab is really good. Cooked perfectly, good, good size. It smells pretty good. Good quality meat. <coughs> they actually taste really good. Yeah. No spice though, uh, not spicy at all. The powdered stuff might be chart masala, maybe. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think of the chutney? I mean, you have to be honest, bro. It's not very spicy. No. Mum, try the mint sauce. Yeah. It feels like there's not there's not much mint in there. It just feels like mainly yogurt. Mm -hmm. Give that a try. Yeah. Hold on. Right, Mum's gonna try the mint sauce. Little sips that she thinks. Mm -hmm.
Bin bon dan sini. Kalau yogurt jauh lagi nih. A bit of salt as well. Eh? It's not even spice. We need a little bit of spice. What? What do you think of the red chutney? Red chutney. It feels like tomato ketchup. It's, it's not. One thing I want to point out, guys, is with the kebabs, you can definitely taste the meat. It's a very good quality lamb. Lamb quality is a nine and a half, maybe ten. It's a really good quality lamb. Really good. However, you can taste the lamb, but you can't taste the spices. Very little, very little spices. Uh, I don't mean spicy as in hot spicy, but you know when you're making shish kebabs, the actual overall taste of the kebab should be a nice balance of the meat itself along with the Indian spices. But to me, it's more meat than spices, so I'd probably give the kebabs an 8.2 out of 10. So the powdery substance, uh, substance, let's take that word back, the powder that they put on there, the masala powder, that's just to give it a bit more taste. Now, when you're making shish kebabs in other places that you see me review, the true flavour of that kebab is inside the actual meat. So, as soon as you take that bite, you get a nice portion of spices, but, um, yeah, you can mainly taste the powder. You can't taste any, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but the, the taste of the kebab, I can taste mainly meat and not actually spices. So, the spice at the top that they put, the powdered stuff, that's just giving it flavour. When really, the flavour should be inside, not on the outside, it's just my opinion. Okay, so they're just giving our plates. Um, the main course is coming now. But they just kind of like put the plates like this. Kind of like on top of each other. Personally, in restaurants that I've been to, they like to give you the plate. Like, you know, serve the plate to you, kind of thing. Like, they put the plate near you. The disc like, oh, here's two plates and here's a fork and knife. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, hold on. At least give the customer the plate. Like, you know, one for me, one for mom, but yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, food is here. First and foremost, the naans are massive. Oh, they look nice and thick. That's a perfect, perfect naan. And then you look at the curries, they're quite a small portion. They look pretty good. So, Let's get straight into it. Okay guys, what we're going to do is, um, first and foremost, portion sizes are a little bit smaller than what we're used to compared to what we get in other places, but um, I've got to say the consistency of the um, the consistency of the sauce is absolutely fantastic. That's how a lamb madras sauce should be in terms of the consistency. It's nice and thick, not watery, so let's just have a closer look. As you can see guys, I mean the, the sauce on that, it looks absolutely fantastic. And of course, they're using the same quality lamb as they did on kebab, so that's always a good thing. So let's just go straight into that thickness, that beautiful thickness um, sauce. That, it's like a, almost like a Balti sauce, actually. So, because for those of you who know, if you've had a, a Birmingham Balti, even though we're not in Birmingham, but what I'm trying to say is when you get a Birmingham Balti, the sauce is quite a nice thick sauce. It's not very watery, it's not very oily. That sauce is perfect, not very oily, it's perfect. So let's. It looks perfect, does it taste perfect? Let's give it a try. Right, lamb, nice and soft. Need a bit more of that, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so you always give it five seconds. So once you get that sauce, give it about five seconds. Let the spices kick in, and if you're getting a bit of an after kick within the first five seconds, but not too much of a kick, that's a perfect madras. If if it's taking you a long time, like 10, 15 seconds to feel any form of kick, then that's normally a sign that it's not the madras it should be but within the first five seconds just the sauce alone without the meat there is a slight kick there so that's actually not bad at all i'll probably say no it doesn't feel like a madras so i'll probably see it's more of a, a medium the green chilies that they put in here like you've got the um 
whole green chilies. That's a good thing, but it's also not personally. The Madras sauce itself should have enough kick, but the kick I'll probably say compared to what I'm used to. Um, and speaking of experiences of other restaurants, I would say maybe about seven, maybe coming up to a seven out of ten on the spot on the on the sauce itself. Uh, spiciness of the sauce, sorry, seven out of ten. Taste of the sauce. Now here's the thing: the taste of the sauce is an absolute nine. It, I'm really impressed with the sauce. That's a very good sauce. Um, could do with a bit more spice though. That even for a madras, it needs to be just slightly a bit more, and you would have nailed a perfect ten with Pras Super Travels. But not a bad start. Right, let's see what Mom Super thinks. The biggest critic of all. Super, what do you think? How is it? It is nice. Yep. What does it need? Does it need anything? Uh, but it is. Uh... Too much sauce, but I like too much sauce. Don't worry about that. And it's spicy as I want. It's as spicy as you like it, yeah? Yeah, spicy. It is as I want. It's good. But I would say 8 out of 10. Mum's a bit more hardcore when it comes to spices. Mum's gone for the vindaloo. And she's saying that she can take... Mum, is it, do you think it's spicy enough for... Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. Spice-wise? So she's given the overall dish an 8 out of 10. So that's actually a really good rating for Mum Super. Considering she's a massive critic, trust me guys. Trying to impress Mum Super is like trying to impress the Queen. I kid you not. Obviously not now because she's passed away. But may God rest her soul, by the way. But, oh, bit of curry. Right, let's get back to this and we'll uh, do a final review for you guys in just a bit. Right, guys, Mum's asked me to try a bit of her curry to see spice level. So, so I'm going to go straight for it. See what it's like. Same about the wobbly tables, by the way. I'll try that again, hold on. Get a bit more seeds from that. Not on bread. Yeah, mom's a, oh yeah, see now it's kicking in. Like I said, spice, always give it five seconds. Um, yeah, see mom's is a lot more hotter. I can sense the spices actually. The spices in the sauce, that's, that's nailed. That's absolutely perfect. Spice level on that, and overall taste. I'm talking masala, spices, ev absolutely everything in there is bang on. That is a perfect amount of spice. It's not, it's a vindaloo, but because the sauce itself is made perfectly, you get a nice consistency, a nice balance of flavours and spice. That's actually quite impressive. Guys, just a quick one. Um, whilst we're doing this review for you guys, uh, we've actually just got a message on our YouTube channel uh, saying we've got a comment from uh, Jack. Now, Jack, um, and his lovely partner Lauren, uh, they've just messaged on our page and uh, said some very lovely words and uh, it just kind of brought the memory back of, um, oh excuse me, I'm a little bit bloated. Yeah, so Jack just messaged the page and Jack, if you're watching this video, thank you very much for your comment. Hope you and Lauren are both doing very well and uh, hope you still got your boyish good looks by the way. But that being said, uh, Mum, do you want to say anything to Jack and Lauren? Yeah, I want to ask you, are you okay? You you enjoy your Christmas? We are enjoying here in the restaurant food. I wish you a lot were here. Yeah, what are you guys doing for Christmas? Let, let us know. Jack, comment below. Let me know what you and Lauren have planned for Christmas. Do you plan to go to Lapland maybe and have an extra special Christmas? Or you can have a bit of a quiet one or you got the family coming around? Let us know. Comment below. Uh, Mom's going to finish her food and then uh, we're going to pack a little bit as well because we're going to have a little bit of a uh, a late night because I've got editing to do tonight. I've got another video coming out tonight which is going to be the drone video. It's going to be absolutely spectacular. So whilst doing that we're going to have this food later on but we just thought we'd do a little bit of a restaurant review for you guys. Let us know, let you guys know what we think. So um, that being said we'll see you back in the car and um, also not to forget Jack and Lauren thank you very much for commenting on the video and we wish you and all of our subscribers a fantastic Christmas. Mum and Su Mum Super and Prash Super have decided to, as you guys know, eat here. We've 
reviewed it, see what we think. The question is, the most important critic. Right, starting with Mom Super. Mom Super, be very, very brutally honest. Without swearing, what do you think? Talk yeah. about the good and the bad. Yes. Let's start, hold on, let's start with the first chutney. Chutney, nah, no good. No good? Wow, why not? What's wrong with the chutney? Chutney, it's more like a tomato ketchup. Okay, that's a red chutney. What about the mint chutney? No, it was more like a pure yogurt. And it was quite sweet. Um, yeah, maybe put a bit of sugar in there, but there was not actually a minty. With mint, yogurt, mint chutney, it's meant to have a mix of uh, yogurt, fresh mint, or bottled mint is also fine. Um, a little bit of green chilli, not too much. And it should have more of that kick of the mint and a little bit of... Um, a little bit of salt, but yeah, I just felt more minty. I, I, I felt more yogurt than mint, so that was a little bit of a letdown. Uh, red chutney wasn't keen on that at all. It literally just tastes like tomato ketchup with one or two spices in there. Not keen on that whatsoever. Uh, yogurt, uh, mango chutney, we don't have anyway. We don't like it. We never have, never will. Um, right now, let's talk about the naan bread first of all. The naan bread was massive, right? Yeah, very nice and thick. Yeah, um. Kebabs. Okay, this is where I tell the truth here, guys. Uh, well, I'm telling the truth all the time with my videos, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is uh, the the uh, the lamb kebabs, the flavour of the lamb, the overall quality of the lamb that they used was absolutely fantastic. Uh, the kebab itself, they put a bit of powder on top, like a, a masala powder or something like that, or a chaat masala, to give it a little bit of flavour. But when you're making shish kebabs, you shouldn't need that. If somebody wants a kebab spicy, you, when, when you're rolling the kebabs up and you're putting it on the stick, whilst you're in that process, that's where you want to put your green chilies in there, uh, or extra green chilies if you've already got green chilies in there, um, maybe some spices, mix it up in that marinade of the kebab. Rather than saying, right, kebabs on the stick, sprinkle a bit of powder, job done. That's not, to me, a, pro a proper way. Um, I'm not going to say another restaurant's name, but you guys probably know where we're talking about. Um, when we go there, when you cut through the kebab, you can see the green chilies in there, you can see the spices. Here, it was more lamb than spice, which is not a bad thing because we love lamb. I do anyway. But flavour, I couldn't taste as much flavour. I, I expect a bit more flavour, a little bit more heat. That's just my personal opinion. I'm sure many people can agree with me as well. Curry, right. Mum Super, what did you think of the curry, your alu gobi? Yeah, my alu gobi was good. Uh, 10 out of uh, 8. You mean 8 out of 10? Um, yeah, yeah. 8 out of 10. Okay, 8 out of 10. What could be made better? Uh, a bit dry. It was too much sauce. Too much sauce? Yeah, sauce was too much. It was spice was okay. It was so spicy. Do you think it needs to be more spicy? No, no, no. Spice was enough. enough okay. Enough. Taste? The taste was good. Yeah. Yep. It was good. And spice, taste, what else are we forgetting? Just a little bit less sauce. Yeah. And alu gobi doesn't have that much sauce, is it, normally? No, no, right. no. Okay, cool. Uh, that being said, ladies and gents, oh, wait, naan. How was the naan? Naan was good. Very good. I would give the naan a 9 out of 10. I, I thought it was nice and chunky, like nice thick pieces of naan. Cooked perfectly, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, perfectly not cooked naan. Well done for that. So overall, I'm going to give this place everything. I would say starters, food, everything, atmosphere, customer service. I'll say uh, I'm going to give it an 8.2 out of 10. I think that's a fair review. How much would you give it out of 10? The whole thing. What though? Yeah. Oh, you tell. I, I'm not very good at that. So I would say 8.2. But uh, that being said. We're now going to go home, so you guys have a good night. Do not forget to like, do not forget to comment, but most important of all, do not forget to... Yes, yeah, subscribe, please. Thank you. Fantastic.